It's a hit single earning a name for Daniel Bedingfield, not just for the song's catchy beat and lyrics, but because of how it was produced. When Bedingfield couldn't find a major record label willing to sign him, he decided to produce the album on his own, at home, in his underwear, he admits, <laughs> too much information, using software available at the local electronics store. And Ralph Bond handles consumer education for Intel and joins us to talk about how software is revolutionizing music making. Ralph, thanks for being here. Well, the thing that's so amazing is how easy it is. The software that's available today, if you know how to run a mouse and you're willing to learn, you can create music even if you don't play a musical instrument. Yeah, you don't have to be a musician. That's the that's key right. with a lot of these. You can actually lay down different tracks, which we'll look at in a moment. I know your son, Jeff, has a band with some of his classmates. They call themselves Open door policy right. <laughs> and they did a demo for showing what the software can do let's take a look talented kid you've got there let me ask you though a lot of soundproofing in your house <laughs> oh yeah do they do that every day well every night now that's a very sophisticated program. Most of us, even with a little musical talent, aren't going to buy that kind of equipment, are we? Well, that's right. Jeff is very popular with all the high school kids because he's got about five thousand dollars worth of gear, including a gateway desktop with a very powerful Pentium 4 processor, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, an Aardvark Q10 microphone box that can handle eight microphones at yeah, one time. Yeah, but what, time. what if you just want to dabble in music or expose the kids to music making? What do you have? Out Absolutely, there? There, you can begin with something very, very modest. For example, for kids, even there's a program here called Super Duper Music Looper. It's very modest only thirty dollars I can take a mouse and simply paint in music loops on the fly just add them I could even pick up a microphone if I wanted to and sing or play a musical instrument against these tracks and it's just absolutely so it creates a song with no musical talent whatsoever yeah that's for me <laughs> now what about for someone like me because I'm a musician yeah. I, I my, my spare time what could you do cheaply you certainly don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get started if you have a good laptop or a good desktop PC you could buy a product like this this is the M audio USB mobile pre product it's hundred fifty dollars allows you to hook up a couple of microphones or in this case we've got your bass hooked up in fact why don't we show people how this works yeah you develop we don't, we don't yeah. have a bass line but let me hear the song you've, you've put there well, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get my bass ready well, you're getting your bass going here we'll give you a little preview this is cakewalk home studio software goes for about two hundred dollars we took some we took some Mick Fleetwood tracks here for the drum part and a saxophone loop and now what I'm going to do I'm going to stop this I'm going to get us back to the start point I'm going to arm this new track, that means get it ready for recording. Okay. I'm going to press record, and once I do, you can start okay. playing. I don't know if the audience can hear, but it's going out, I'm told. Here we so go. Here we go. 